Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel, Geek Week 2022, the Netflix showcase aired a couple of days ago, day one it was, it's obviously been gaming and stuff as well, that's happened since, but I'm only going to be covering the Netflix one as we're here to talk about the information that matters, I didn't really follow the gaming one, I think a couple of things were announced, like Destroy All Humans 2, the remastered version, which I'm very excited for, uh, but that's about it. But on the notes of this, you know, one of the main announcements I want to obviously cover is the Wednesday reveal. General Tager just captivates what Wednesday looks like. You know, from the black hair, the nail, the, the, the nail polish, just all the black, the goth, the outfit. General Tager is taking over this generation of acting. You know, she can captivate everything. You know, you you put her in this role, she does it. You put her in that role, she does it. I can't wait to see what she does next after Wednesday. <clears throat> She's not even done this role yet. And I believe she has the ability to capture a goth child within the Adams family. She looks perfect. You know, they've even kept like the freckles. That are in, you know, the original look, everything works with Jenna. She looks brilliant. She looks amazing as uh, Wednesday. And I can't wait for this to air. Uh, I don't think there's an official release date yet. The, the trailer may be dropping today. I'm not sure. I think she put a teaser up on her Instagram saying it's going to be dropping soon. But anyway, General Tega just captivates anything and everything. And I think she will be one of the, and this is a bold statement, she will become one of the best women actresses or actors, whatever you want to say, in the future. She'll be in the biggest role. She'll be in the biggest this, that, and the other. I believe she'll join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, I think that's a big step for someone like her, or she may feature in Star Wars. Uh, these are the roles that truly manif um, put you in a place. I mean, she's already doing roles that are huge for herself. You know, she's elevated herself to this status of Scream Wednesday. So, you know, she's in Scream 6, so she's going to have to keep it up because she's doing incredible. There was also another Mike Flanagan show announced, another horror, I think, called The Midnight Club. You know, from Midnight Mass, I'm still yet to watch the seven part. The Haunting of Blind Manor, a very, very good horror, and one of the greatest horror TV shows, period. The Haunting of Hill House. I'm going to be going watching that again. You know, they've all got one season, so, you know, easy to get through. But obviously, this will drop this year at some point. So, genuinely can't wait. Because Mike Flanagan is one of the best horror directors slash writers we've had in a very long time. <clears throat> uh, I'm not a fan of, you know, anime and all this stuff. But we're getting a live-action One Piece show, which I think is incredible. Because apparently, they built an entire ship for this show. Uh, so the budget's probably going to be huge, but ultimately, you know, I'm pr I'm happy for animation fans to get a live action one of this because One Piece is the most popular, I believe, or one of you know like Attack and Attack and Titans and them sort of stuff. Resident Evil, a new look at that, you know, some of the creatures and stuff. It just looks amazing. It's captivating. What we all want to see in the show. A little bit of a different take on what we know from the games and the movies and shows we've had, but I genuinely can't wait to delve back into the world of Netflix and Resident Evil. There's a few Resident Evil stuff I do want to check out. It's already on Netflix, like the animated CGI show, so I'm going to be checking that out at some point. The Sandman, we get a closer look at a couple of the characters. Jenna Coleman is going to be in this, which I'm so, so happy about. Um, I think that's going to be coming out again sometime this year. It's very, very heavily you know, um, spoke about. So I'm hoping this is a good film. I don't really, I'm not really read into the plot and stuff, but obviously it was highlighted at the Geek Week 2022. The plot may have come out, the characters and all that stuff may have come out, but I just wanted to talk more just on, you know, how excited I am about it. You know, I'm really, really looking forward to that. A few shows I've not touched on for the first season or the first and second season. Sweet Two Season 2 was announced. Lock and Key Season 3 was announced. Fate the Wink Sagas Season 2 was announced. All of Us Are Dead Season 2 was announced. All these are shows I've actually been intrigued by and wanted to get into. I mean, the thing for me is, right, we've got Squid Game. You know, <clears throat> the confirmation never actually, I don't think there's ever been an official confirmation about Season 2, but the director has and the writer has said there will be a second season. If All of Us Are Dead is, I think it's another Korean show. 
that season two announcement has already come, when are we going to get announcements on Squid Game? Because it's one of my most exciting shows, and I can't wait to delve more into those characters. 1899 is coming as well from the creators of Dark, which people put down as one of the best TV shows in Netflix's catalogue. So truly can't wait to see that. And you have seen, obviously, a very, very good variety of shows, a couple of returning creators, directors and writers to the forefront, and obviously a few returning shows. I think it's going to be an absolutely incredible couple of years in the realms of nerdiness, TV shows, movies, gaming, and so much more. I genuinely can't wait to delve into some of these shows that I've never touched. Some of the shows that are obviously, you know, uh, one-time shows, and obviously Wednesday is the one I'm most hyped for because Jenna is attached to that show, and she's one of my favorite. All she is my favorite actress at this moment in time because she's killing every role she's in, from Fallout to X to Scream. Go and check out my top five favorite films of Jenna Ortega. I dropped it the other day, so thanks for watching as always. Go check out the information as well for yourself. I've only touched on briefly on some of them because I'm not interested in all of them, but I will be touching on more as they come out. And obviously I can do reviews and reactions and all that jazz. Stay tuned for more. Hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Goodbye.